Hey guys, what's going on? Right here, I'm back into the com my computers are back into the computer room at my step grandparents' house, which you may notice I'm not at my house. This is where I keep all my most of my old computers usually. This is the um, where you see you got the Compact Presario S40 40 SE, the HP 6640C, and the some called Alpha computer, which I still call it a custom build even though it's not really a custom build but the way how it's designed because it does have a service tag and I got two requested videos on two computers I got to do some a user requested to see Windows 2000 running on this which I will do a video eventually I just got to replace this cheap Sony Chang drive that drive actually came out to the, from the HP Pavilion computer, which when I got it like, like about a month, that I took the um, this light on drive and put, replaced it so I can install Windows 98 because it wouldn't read the CDs right. So I got an extra white drive that I'll match the um, case, which I will eventually replace. I'll actually replace that black one with a white drive. And yes, and, and for this computer right here we're going to be talking about, a user wants to see Windows ME running on it. Um, let me see, I might got an extra 4 gig hard drive. I, probably, I actually still do got an extra 4 gig laying around, which I may um, install Windows ME on it for the video purposes instead of using the 15 gigabyte that's in this computer. Yeah, and it's still right now got Windows 98 on it. And that's still got XP Professional Service Pack 3. And this one now is now running Windows XP Home Edition with Service Pack 3, which I've actually installed it using the COA label, which is right about here. Yeah. The tape had to cover up the license key. Cause I don't want, cause I need that license key for that computer. Cause that I do that for for a reason. You may see a while a lot of people do that for a reason when they show computers, and if it shows like why they put their hand over the COA labels, is because they don't want to um, go let, allow the pirates to um, steal the product keys because. Cause you may never know. That's to let you know that when your computer has a license that's certified for for that mach particular machine, you may get the point why they have those COA labels. So if like if a technician needs to work on it or reinstall the operating system, they could use that license key. And that's the main importance why you never give out a license key because the fact is. It's actually illegal anyways. So at least if you can use any copy of Windows and with the actual right license key, which is actually fair use. So and that and as of this year in 2013, Windows XP is still able to activate with no issues. And I even got speakers hooked up, as you may see that because I'm using my phone to record this video and actually you may notice that's why there's not enough light picking up. I even got a wireless stick, my same old Netgear. They all still got the same specifications. Yeah, the only difference is this computer has about one gig of RAM, which is the max. This one still got one ninety two megabytes and a fifteen gig IDE hard drive. And this one it used to have a half a gig of RAM, but I've taken that out and put downgraded to one gig. Even though it's not, even though it's just a generic computer, nothing really special about it. And um, the HP A450N now is now using the AOC monitor, and it's now using one a half a gig of RAM. 
still going strong in the other room. I may go to that computer. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get to there. That computer, and we'll we'll continue the video on while I'm at, we're filming. Here's a computer that you never seen in a while. This guy, the HP Pavilion A450N. Yep, all the specs are still the same, and the only difference is the RAM. The memory is it now has. 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Actually, it's a half a gig of RAM. Even though it's still maximum, its maximum is two gigabytes. Still got its three gigahertz Pentium 4 with hyper-threading technology. The other computer is a the compact ha also has a hyper-thread processor at 2.4 gigahertz. But all their specs are going to be in the description. Yeah, I still got all the same programs. In fact, I even got Office 2010 on this. Still going strong. This is the AOC monitor I got last year. So yeah, that was enough minor updates on this on the computers, on the older computers. The next update's probably going to be the Windows 7 machines and the retro laptop so please stay tuned and more videos will be coming and t including tutorials so so comment like subscribe and if you have any other requests just send me a personal message or leave it in the comments and I'll do what I can to get to to respond back and hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching